Hi, I'm Scott DeCamp with Catchmark Sportsnet, and this is the Profile of the Week. Today we have Hart Jr. Kellen Kimes. Thanks for coming in today, Kellen. Thank you very much. You've uh, had a big track season already. I know it just started, but you've already broke two school records, one in shot, put one in discus. And how exciting is it just to kind of have that great of a start? Um, it's definitely really nice because, you know, I put in a lot of work in the off season, and to see the results playing out already is really comforting. Now, what's your height and weight? Uh, I am 225 pounds and I am six foot. Now, a lot of times you'll see, and you play quarterback in football too, by the yes. way, I have to kind of stop and say that. That's maybe a little bit of an unusual combination, a guy who's a quarterback and he also does throws in track season, but if you can tell everybody how much work you've put in in the weight room to get to this point, and then also, um, what are the keys to being such a successful thrower in track? Um, for throwing specifically, um, as well as the weight room, uh, it's consistency, you know, working out constantly five to six days a week, um, putting in that time um, over a long period of time, over months, uh, quickly uh, escalates and you're able to increase a lot, especially in throwing. Um, there's a lot of technique involved in throwing and every single day, you put it, every single day that you put in more work enables you to uh, get down techniques that take, that takes months to get down. And that's paying off. It's really showing in your track season so far. And you compete on a national level as well, like in the indoor season and so forth. But um, how much is that paying off? And what are your long-term goals? Um, I definitely want to compete at the collegiate level. And uh, particularly, I want to be an All-American at the D1 level. Um, and uh, going to uh, nationals and indoor season really helps me get a good idea and a good scope of uh, the competition that I'm going against and the other top athletes in the entire nation when it comes to throwing, uh, weight throw as well as hammer and discus and shot put. Um, so it really puts in perspective what I need to get to, uh, the marks I need to hit to be able to compete at higher levels. Now you've worked really hard as we alluded um, and things haven't been easy for you. You know in your life in a condition you have alopecia that involves the hair loss and then You've been diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic, and then your mom's battling breast cancer and has for quite some time. All those things, a lot of people could just shut down and quit and say, well, this isn't in the cards for me. You could kind of play the victim role, but you've done the opposite. And what drives you? Um, what drives me is my relationship with Jesus. Um, he uh, promises that, he doesn't promise that life is going to be easy. But, he, but I know he's gonna be there every step of the way and he's gonna push me and he's gonna guide me in every single step. And uh, through uh, the challenges that I faced, uh, there's always positives and you have to focus on those positives. And one of those, especially with my mom's cancer, was bringing my family together. Uh, we were a really tight knit group and that really encourages me. Um, having my, my dad so close to me and my mom and my sisters, they're constantly pushing me, pushing me to the next level. You know, when something gets me down, when I have a de bad day in, with my blood sugar, uh, my parents and my sisters are always there to lift me up and to keep my eyes focused on Jesus and the cross and what he did for us, and that really keeps me going. What are your long-term goals, like down the road, 20 years down the road, where do you want to do, where do you want to be? Um, I want to be a doctor. I want to go to med school. Um, Specifically, I don't know exactly what. Um, there's a lot of routes I could take. Um, dermatology, as well as endocrinology, is something that I'm, I'm automatically familiar with because of the diseases I have, as well as oncology would be pretty cool because of my mom's cancer. Um, so those are definitely some options. What are your goals? You've got the track season yet and then your senior year, but what are your goals for track and then going into your senior year for football, track, academics, and so forth? Um, Academics-wise, I want to stick to a 4.0 GPA um, and then uh, get a pretty good SAT score. Uh, when it comes to sports, you know, being around that, that the international stuff, I know exactly what marks I need to get to be at a D1 level or a D2 level. Um, and so, Continuing to work towards those goals and setting small goals, uh, like this year, um, setting setting reasonable goals that I can work towards and accomplish, and then um, having those big 
goals in the background for senior year that will get college's attention. All right, great. That's, that's awesome what you're doing. Congratulations on everything so far, and good, best of luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you very much. That was Kellen Kimes, Hart Jr., track star and football star and academic star. And I'm Scott DeCamp with Catchmark Sportsnet. Thanks for watching, everybody.